tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Mary Gervais, and I'm from Federal Way, Washington. And Mary, can you tell us the testimony that you have uh, to share with us today, beginning with the problem that you're facing and how God brought restoration in your life? Well, I was basically dead in every way, uh, physically, um, spiritually, emotionally, financially. Uh, I was so dead that I called myself the walking dead. I didn't believe that I would ever live. But I had a son who I was trying to save, so I brought him here. And um, as I prayed for my son, um, he raised my hand. I was baptized. I went from death to life. And God has filled me with faith and joy and purpose. Uh, He's created life in me, showed me that I'm loved. And I just love the Lord so much. And Mary, can you tell us, uh, we know that you came here to the Anointing Water Prayer Line um, about two years ago, maybe a little bit more than that. What was the problem that you're facing? And can you explain for us a little bit of um, of the details of how God brought restoration into your life? Uh, One of the things, uh, besides my son and some of the things that he was going through, I have an older son who I had no relationship with, his wife I have no relationship with, my grandkids I had no relationship with. They lived an hour away from me, and I never saw them. Uh, And I had just been told the day or maybe two days before I came here with John, I was bringing John, and uh, that they were leaving the country uh, to go to Panama. And I had understood that they were only going to be gone for three months. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to them. And he told me on the phone that they were going to be gone for a year. They were actually gone for 18 months, uh, at which time he got deathly ill. And uh, he ended up with pneumonia by the time he got here. When I saw him, he was so sick, I just wept. But the day that I had come here, two days after I had learned that he was leaving, C.S. Grove was here and... C.S. Grove was calling on people for healing that had, you know, knees and backs and headaches and all these things. And I'd been already cured. God had already healed me of, you know, I had uh, skin cancer fall off. I had ligaments in my knee that I had not been able to walk or run be healed. I had all these healings. And the only thing that was left was I had a ringing in my right ear. And he called out, is there anybody here that has something going on with their right ear and I'm just like the only person that's the only thing I had left so I'm like I raised my hand and um and as he, it wasn't about my ear it was about the prophecy he gave me that he said both my sons were coming home my son that was sick would be well and my son who was leaving for Panama would come home and I stood on that promise because C.S. Grove is a man of God and I believed in his prophecy and um, I didn't panic. I didn't feel like I needed to worry. Even when he looked like he was going to die, I believed God's word. I stood on it. And I said, I am not taking him back. I gave his care to you, Lord, and I believe in you. And you are going to heal him. You're going to bring him back. And he did. He's wonderful now. We have Bible studies together. I see my grandkids. Um, and... God has worked such miracles in our life, in my life, and without me even realizing it, I look backwards and I think, wow, he's changed everything ever since I went under the water and came back. It was from death to life. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. For those of you guys um, who know Mary, she's been here several times with her son, John, and And God has done an amazing work in John's life. He's doing uh, so great. God completely healed and delivered him from from a mental disorder. And now he is completely restored. Um, As I talked with Mary earlier, now they're going to do um, youth ministry work, moving to Colorado. And it's just so wonderful to hear how God has restored relationship between your older son now. And this is the power of God, you guys. This is what God can do. He is in the business of restoring lives and restoring restoring families and God can do the same for you. Amen. Amen. So Mary, now that you're here, what can you tell other people who might have similar family problems? What can you say to them? You need to know that 
God loves you first. He loves your family and he loves your children more than you do. And you need to stand on that. You need to stand in faith, in the knowledge that God loves you. And it's a love that transcends everything. And believe in it. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you.